Tom Davis, please. D.I. Sleet joins me now. It's so good to see you. It's good to see and you. And I had such, such fun. That, that was us undercover, we should explain. Yeah, we were undercover there, weren't we? Yeah, deep undercover, mm. uh, about to go and interrogate a, uh, a fearsome suspect. A fearsome suspect. Yes. And what we found in that house, we can't even talk about. No, no. It was <laughs> dreadful. But what a great idea. It's a fantastic idea. And there was, the thing for me was, there was no pressure in me. I just basically had to turn up and react. Is it not really difficult for you, though? Because you've got a rough idea of the plot, obviously, yeah. and a few, maybe a few lines that you sort of think you might do, but but you don't know, because you don't know what we're going to see. No, that's the hard thing. I think I sort of have some jokes in my head that are sort of... But it all sort of goes out the window a bit as soon as it starts, because how you play it is how the whole episode's going to sort of pan out. The guests sort of become friends because... It sort of works like a buddy movie. It does. They, you, you don't really know the person when they start, mm. but by the end of it, you've got, you've got quite a bond, really. Absolutely. Um, we sat in the car for ages, yes, remember? It's, it's, right. time. it's one of my favourite scenes. I mean, the cameras were rolling <laughs> for an hour, and at the end, I was thinking, I don't know if this is a show or I've just had a conversation about going on holiday with Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> and we are going to Iceland together. We are going to Iceland <laughs> yes. together. We decided it was, it was all sorted. It was just fantastic. Is there a dream person that you would love to do this show with? Um, I'm a massive football fan, so David yeah. Beckham would be amazing. I'd he would love, be really uh, funny, and actually. And I think he's just really, yeah, he's got a great sense of humour. And, yeah, we, we sort of loosely talked to Anthony Joshua about doing it, but with the fight and everything, he couldn't sort of make it. Oh, so, that would be a cracker. And I think he's, again, he's just got so much, so much personality. It, mm. but, the, but weirdly, it's the people that you sometimes don't... Like, we sort of knew with you you'd be fun and you... But like, say, Deborah Meaden in the first series, everyone would thought we were crazy. Of <laughs> anyone we've ever done a show, she wanted to solve that case. You know, <laughs> like, she, she was taking... Do you know, she went, like, where she, you, know, you were sort of having fun and she was like... We're not asking any questions we need to ask it. And she had lists of reams of questions. Uh, and she was pretty fierce when in the terror. I mean, she'd go toe to toe with anyone on line of duty. I think that if well, you want to book in. I've just put your show, Murder and Successful, is the comic version of Line of Duty, oh, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's very kind of you to say. I mean, Marty Thompson's actually one of my best mates. and uh, Oh, he's great. He lived with me while he was doing. Um, Did he? When he was doing the audition for Line of Duty, he came and lived with me with, for a month, but ended up there for about five. So we're, before we were both married and, and settled, me and Martin were, yeah, and hell you, How did you, hell raises, I like it. How did you get into this? Because you were a scaffolder. Yeah, So yeah. how do you get from being a scaffolder well, into comedy? Was it something you always did when you were little? It was my best mate, really, James DeFrond, who was working with Lee Francis at the time. Right. And we used to go out and shoot sketches and what's not. Lee just helped. Uh, and he, you know, he, he's been amazing, really, over the years, Lee. He's, mm. he's put me in stuff and I'd learnt a lot because sort of didn't have any sort of training or anything. So, yeah, from Lee France, I sort of learnt, really, sure. my craft, so to speak. Yeah, well, that's good, but that's great, and, and it has worked so, so well. I mean, my episode's coming out at 10 this morning, yes. isn't it, online? Yeah. But we will get a chance. You can see it on BBC One too. BBC One uh, after Match of the Day, yeah. After Match of the Day? Yeah, it's the big time. Perfect. Yeah, usually Seriously? after a boring nil-nil draw. <laughs> Uh, somewhere you can just sit down, something. get yourself a drink and a great big giant bag of crisps and just watch. It's amazing. <laughs> it, it, it's so fun and I've got to say thank you so much for oh, doing the I show because it. it was a dream having you on. I absolutely really loved it. I really did, Tom. And I know there's loads in the pipeline for you coming up that is secret right now, but you need to come back and see us and tell us all about I'd it. I'd love to. And I, I really like D. Isley Adam thing about him. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he had a thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> really perfect, perfect friendship. <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah. Great to see you.